Joe Biden and Kenya's President William Ruto celebrated 60 years of the U.S.-Kenya partnership. And in a bid to pledge a new era of ties between the two countries, Biden has pledged to designate Kenya as the country's first key non-NATO ally in sub-Saharan Africa. I'm proud to announce we're working with Congress to designate Kenya a major non-NATO ally. That's a fulfillment of years of collaboration. Kenyan President William Ruto is on a three-day state visit to Washington, D.C. Ruto's trip is the sixth state visit hosted by the Biden administration and the first for an African president since 2008. Ruto used the state visit to call on economies around the globe to take action to reduce the enormous debt burden crushing Kenya. I have underscored the imperative for our partnership to facilitate recovery from this multiple crisis and particularly for the United States of America to take a leading role in a comprehensive debt resolution framework. This week's meetings, dubbed as a Nairobi-Washington vision, comes amid Biden's appeal to African nations that the U.S. can be a better partner than China as Beijing deepens its investment in the continent through high loans. Meanwhile, in a joint statement, Biden and Ruto announced a range of new U.S.-backed investments in green energy and health manufacturing, along with a plan to cut Kenya's high debt load. Meanwhile, the White House is also throwing one of its biggest ever state dinners for the Kenyan president. Further catering to the African leader's tastes by showcasing two uniquely American types of music, gospel and country. Rolling out a red carpet, the Bidens welcomed Ruto and his wife at the White House's North Portico. The White House has invited more than 450 guests for the gala dinner, which included businesses, executives, musicians, leaders of the U.N. Well, this is the sixth and the largest of the state dinners that Biden's administration has hosted so far. And for more on the conclusion of William Ruto's state visit to the United States of America and the growing ties between U.S. and Kenya, our correspondent Susan Tehrani sends us this report from New York. Take a look. The designation is significant because it reflects the deepening relations between the United States and Kenya and demonstrates the Biden administration's commitment to strengthening ties with Africa as a whole. As a major non-NATO ally, Kenya can have access to enhanced security cooperation, technology sharing, as well as economic partnerships with the United States. The move also sends a message to countries like China and Russia that the United States is serious about its engagement in Africa and will not cede ground in the region. Additionally, Kenya's status as the first sub-Saharan African country to receive a designation like this highlights its strategic importance for the United States in the region. Susan further explains the implications of this state visit for U.S.-Africa ties and the competition with China and Russia. Take a listen. There's no doubt that this state visit marks a significant moment in U.S.-Africa relations and demonstrates the Biden administration's commitment in engaging with the African continent and building partnerships that go beyond traditional development assistance. President Biden hoped that by inviting President Ruto, he's signaling that he wants deeper connections with Africa. For example, the announcement of semiconductor partnerships and other economic initiatives demonstrates the U.S.'s commitment in supporting Africa's economic development and also sends a message to countries like Russia and China. 